This TWH model of a Kenworth T908 tractor and Drake swing wing trailer is in the colour of Doolan's, an Australian haulage contractor. It comes in a smart branded Drake trailers box and inside there are a couple of polystyrene trays and the model's nicely wrapped inside with some protective polythene. One particularly nice inclusion is a couple of reprinted brochures and an instruction leaflet. There is very little to assemble on the tractor, there are just a couple of door mirrors that have to be fitted. These are fine gauge metal parts so you need to be a little bit gentle fixing them. There's also an oversized warning sign which can be fitted on the front of the tractor if you want. There are a number of spare wheels to fit to both the dolly and the trailer and the instructions don't give any advice on which goes where. But it's quite straightforward, the ones with the silver locking clip go on the dolly and the ones with the black locking clip go on the trailer. Helpfully, each spare wheel is marked with its position, so this one is the dolly front left and this one is the dolly rear left. As long as you've picked the right wheel correctly, it's fairly easy just to then clip them into place on the dolly frame or the trailer frame as appropriate. The other part to fit on the dolly is a plastic fuel tank and that's just a clip fit into the top of the gooseneck. <laughs> We'll start underneath the Kenworth and the detail is first class. The suspension and transmission is excellent and there are various hoses running up and down the chassis. At the front the chrome work is really good with fine mesh detailing and the lights and the emblem on the radiator all looking really authentic. On the side the quality of the graphics is really good and you can also see the bolt head details in the casting. And the exhaust, the steps and the fuel tank are all modelled really well. Another nice detail is that the mud flaps on the model are all rubber and quite flexible. Behind the cab there are coiled airlines and the rest of the detailing of the rear of the model is of a very high standard. Moving on to the dolly, even the underside is highly detailed. There are various tanks and hoses. Up on top the spare wheels with their locking clips and chains look great as does the fuel tank. And at the trailer kingpin there's lots more hoses and some really great details on the wheel arches. The swing wing trailer is just as good with some strong structural detail on the underside. The graphics and detailing along the edges is really good. And some of the graphics are really tiny but perfectly legible. At the rear the fine detailing continues with excellent warning notices around the ramps. We'll start by looking at the Kenworth and it certainly rolls smoothly on the test track. Here it's shown with a slight angle of steering. In fact the steering is a little bit unusual on this model because it's a kind of a notched steering which means it can be set to two or three different positions uh, rather than being continuously variable. It also does have fully working suspension both on the front and the rear. You can open the hood of the tractor and to do that you fold the ball bar forward first and then the hood tilts forward to reveal a very detailed engine with lots of components and hoses. The cab doors also open but they're a very good fit so it's best to use a pointer tool to open them up and a very good job has been done to make sure that there are no unsightly hinges or anything like that spoiling the look of the model. Another nice feature is the cab seats have suspension and they go up and down so it's good for humping and bumping. At the back the fifth wheel position is adjustable longitudinally so it just clips into place and there's a very nice spring clip mechanism for securing the trailer kingpin. Moving on to the dolly, it has some stabiliser feet which can be lowered and you just pull out a little locking pin that's suspended on a chain and can pull the foot down and then lock it into place. The wheel sets on the dolly have a full range of movement, they slide out for uh, transporting wide loads and the axle sets have a full range of movement both forward and backwards and also independently side to side. And with all those linkages it still rolls smoothly. Also on the underside the kingpin plate allows pivoting movement. There's also flexibility with the fifth wheel and it can be positioned longitudinally. On to the main business end which is the swing wing trailer. And first up it has very good suspension on the rear axles both side to side and uh, front to back. And you can see each wheel has really quite a lot of sprung movement. At the front of the trailer there are some stabiliser feet and these work in the same way as on the dolly. You just unclip a pin and pull the stabiliser down. 
At the rear the loading ramps can be lowered and you achieve that by undoing the locking chain which is slightly fiddly in the way it's fixed to the deck edge but once you've removed it you can just lower the ramps smoothly and the ramps do touch the ground if either the trailer is fixed to a dolly or standing on its stabilizers. The main feature of the swing wing trailer is the fact that it uh, can open up to a wide configuration and that's uh, done quite easily on the model just by stretching it out and you can see you get a much wider loading platform. The engineering of this part of the model is very good because it works really well and it just snaps back into place. With the whole vehicle assembled you can put a load on. Here is a heavy Vermeer terrain leveller and the whole model rolls along perfectly well. Overall this is a really excellent model from TWH Collectibles. The standard of detailing is very very high, the engineering is really good and it looks great in Doolan's livery. It is an outstanding model.